tucks in so tight. It's so cute. My goodness. Working on the fridge mount. So, time to chop some wood. Okay. Hi, Mighty Mite. Yeah, you're so cute. Okay. This is gonna be, I'm gonna mount this on the sides so that the boards, the slat sits on top for a shelf above. So I got it marked out. Just gonna give it a little slicer roo. One for each side. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna pre-drill the mounting holes um, just to make sure I don't split it. So I'm gonna do some smaller like pilot holes in both of them. So here's the space for the fridge. And I'm gonna have to move that, I think. That's Hobbs Crate. Um, it's pretty big. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it. I might be able to leave it though um, and just work around it possibly. So I'll pull it out while I'm building and then see if it'll fit back in. But I'm gonna put um, the rails across here on both sides and then put slats across the top um, that way I'll be able to put stuff on a shelf, essentially. Um, I don't have a full solid board to put across it. Don't really want to buy one just for that. So I think the slats will work, uh, just fine. And I have some one by two, one by three, something like that, that I can use. Um, so that's the plan. I'll move this rug out. And so then the fridge will go on the floor here. And then I also have these wheels, so these wheels can mount, I can mount the platform that the fridge is on on here and it'll be able to roll out, in and out. The way that the mount is, they, I don't lose a lot of space with the wheel. Um, I'll show you that part when I get to it. That'll be the last part. But for now, build the shelf across there and then the fridge will be at the bottom there. So, get going. Oh, and I should mention, so this is actually my table, my desk. Uh, it pulls out, it slides in. So this will still slide in and out, this desk portion. Um, I will lose this under desk space, but I'm gonna work on trying to construct a different desk as well for when I'm actually working. So I think it'll be okay if I take this and make fridge, shelf, storage, because that's a lot of space that I'm not utilizing right now that I really need to use to get some of the clutter out. Okay, so I got both of those up. They're screwed in. They should be fine. I'm not gonna put too much weight on them. So now I just need to cut the slats that will go across. Try and sneak out of here while Bubba's sleeping. You stay right there. I'm gonna go do some power tool work, okay, Bubs? Okay. Here is my one by two. It's all I have. I already own it. I'm just gonna use it. One by three would be better, one by four would be better, solid board would be better, but this will work. So I have it marked off. Just gonna do two quick cuts. One, two, and three. Three boards. Let's see if these work. And he's still sleeping. He slept through all that. It's the perks to having a dog that's almost deaf. Okay, here's for the test. One, two, three. And I think this is gonna work out fine because what I'm gonna do is we'll have one like that, one like that, and one like that. And I'm gonna put baskets on here, totes. So it'll be totally fine that there's a couple inch gap in between them. 
Okay, so as is apparent, I am not a woodworker, I'm not a carpenter, I'm not even a hobbyist, but here we go. So uh, I got these in here. I don't want them to be able to pivot though, because then they'll fall, but I also don't want them to be permanent. So my makeshift way to do that is just to put screws on either side and then they slot in there and then um, they can't turn, so then they can't pull out, even if there's play. So I think that that should hopefully work and got my shelf. And then uh, now I'll have all that space to be able to store stuff in there. And then of course, um, this bottom section then will have space for the fridge. Uh, my fuse block is up in this section in here. So it'll be a very short run for the fridge to be plugged into the power. So that's good. So this is the only corner that I didn't put a wheel. The other three corners, I have a wheel. And what that allows me to do is when I pull it out, I just lift up a little on this corner. Um, and then all the other wheels are working. It does have a little foot on the bottom. So without lifting up on it, it's almost like a brake. Show you. So all I do is lift up and it slides right out. And then I really need two hands to, to get it to slide in straight, but I can lift up and push it back in and then it slides right back in. And this is those those wheels. So that what I was saying is the board sits so low, so you're really only losing this much, so I, I don't lose a lot of height. So I do lose this width of storage, this strip, but I needed, on the other side, I needed a lot of um, extra space anyway for venting. So I'm really only losing this because the other side I want space. Um, and then this, shelf sits down so you see i am not losing much at all like half an inch um because of the way that the wheels sit versus where the shelf screws in hopefully that makes sense so i've been using um this icicle freezer now for well over a month um and I was actually super surprised. So many people have the exact same model and everything. Um, and it was awesome to read that a lot of people had been using theirs for years. So that's that's a good sign as far as longevity goes. So far, I have been extremely pleased with how well this works. It fluctuates a lot less than other ones have had in the past. So, and let's, uh, take a look I'll show you just a thing or two so right now it's saying 13 degrees my thermometer is saying 17 but I don't have the thermometer um, where their sensor is exactly so I reached out to ask them and they were very responsive but the thermometer sensor for this fridge is up by this front wall um, and right now like my sensor is back there and I did that on purpose because I wanted to see um, on the opposite side what the temperatures were running um, and just have a comparison. Because if they think it's 13 in the front, what does the back run? And I've kind of moved the thermometer around too to see what happens. Um, but it's very consistent, which is what I appreciate. So if you look at this, that number two is this freezer. So it's 17, I have it set at 13 but it's consistent so i can plan accordingly knowing this back corner might be about 17 and who knows if this is accurate right this could be off by a couple degrees but roughly this back corner let's say is about 17 this front might be 13. so it's varying very little just a couple degrees um and at least i can adjust accordingly knowing that and it stays steady it doesn't matter so right now inside in my camper right now it is approaching 81 degrees and it's holding the temp at 17 all day and based on the other people that had posted that have um this this unit as well i went ahead and downloaded the app too which i have found is super handy to be able to just look especially if i have it sl slid under this cabinet where I can't necessarily see what temp is running 
on the little screen I can always open the app and see um, and then you know I have this mounted on my wall so I can also see that as well um, and everything is held up great so there's a tiny bit of frost here but it's almost negligible and I'll tell you what this is like nothing compared to my fridge and how often I have to defrost my fridge this I haven't done anything with since I got it and it's barely got a layer of frost and it's only on part of it um so I've been pretty impressed with with that as well are so good people I'll let you know if I have any problems with it but uh so far it's been great it's so such a relief to not have to worry about if it's gonna work or not so the only negative to where I decided to put this is that when the motorcycle is in, it blocks this. So I can just barely reach over. I do have a little bit of space so I can kind of just barely shove stuff in. Um, but I can't open the lid all the way with a motorcycle here. So I've just had to plan accordingly on um, travel days and uh, if I... If I do need to put a lot of stuff in here, I'll just pull it out and put this in my walkway so that it's not tucked back in there um, behind the motorcycle. And just so you can see what I did, I just found an old board that I had and repurposed it and then just put the three wheels, three out of the four wheels down. Um, and then this side, I just have a screw. So when you lift this, it's really easy to roll because it's rolling on those three wheels um, and uh, so far knock on wood so far it's worked out really well as you can see the tolerances are pretty tight um, but it, it fits in here pretty well and so then I have a pretty good space here for the ventilation to where the compressor side is the compressor was running while I was filming that and it just kicked off. So now it's at 15.8. So, and that tends to be about normal. It tends to fluctuate between 15 and 17. So once it hits about 17, you'll hear the compressor kick on and it'll run and drop the temp down to about 15. So it keeps a pretty steady temperature, like within a couple degrees, um, it's bouncing back and forth. So. It's very predictable, so I appreciate that. The craziness is his leg, it keeps flopping up because he wants me to rub his tummy. <laughs> and it goes that leg in there. Down. Up. Down. It's like doggy workout. Okay, up. <laughs> Down. Up down <laughs> up <laughs> down <laughs> okay back at it today got the tools out um <sighs> this van is still not finished and it drives me nuts because there's so many projects and stuff laying around that needs to be installed so I'm gonna try and at least crack out another project today this is the back door, but I'm going to mount a desk to this back door that'll flip up or flip down. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, that way I can work here. I do have another desk, but this would be really nice to be out of the way. The bad part is I can only use it when the door is shut. <laughs> so... But um, I think I do want to do it, though. I think it'll help. It could also give me extra space for when I'm cooking as well. I could just use it and it could be out. So I have this board. It is not cute. <laughs> I've used it for mounting a lot of different things on it. So it has holes everywhere, but I already have it. So I'm just going to use it because I'm not willing to buy something new. Um, and I'll figure out what to do to make it look a little nicer. So this is the lock to the door. So I'm going to cut that corner out. It'll be hinged on this back here so it can flip up and down. And then it'll be able to, if I flip it up, then it'll be, um, 
around where the lock is it'll sit flush and then I'm going to round out the corners especially because this side my bathroom is in this corner so I'm going to have to sneak by this a lot so round that out I got them marked where I think I'm going to put the hinges and we'll see how this goes so this is just me experimenting and I have no clue if this is going to work I haven't seen it done, but given my space, this is what I came up with. So I already had these. Um, these, you can either buy them for boats, but this was actually part of a kit to secure batteries. So those, I'm going to put two on the door, and then the other two are going to go on the back side of here. Then I'm going to run, I think, webbing through all of them and that hopefully is going to create the support for the table. I'm not totally sure how this is going to work yet. So I think this is how it'll be mounted. So that's what that corner cutout was for the lock. And it'll be hinged on that bottom. And I think flip down. I think that's my plan. Okay, so here's the back door my chair and then right now I have it since shut. I'm gonna change this a little bit, but for right now, this is gonna be my patch job until I mount um, probably a different hook up here. But let me loosen this. So once I loosen that cam lock, the table can drop down and like that. There's also another one on this side that I can hook up to this for now until I mount something else up here. But it, it's actually, I need to maybe spray something on those, but it's actually pretty darn sturdy. And so now I've got my chair here and I have like an actual space I can use um, as a desk. And I think down the road, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm gonna figure out how to mount a monitor pullout either to this side or to this side, I'm not sure. Um, and then I can put my laptop, it'll actually be like a laptop stand and I can put the laptop up there for the monitor and use this for my keyboard and my notebook and stuff. So that's the plan, but just super simple. I just needed something right here. So I still have to finish tightening the bolts. I just wanted to make sure I got it straight where they were, it was gonna work. Um, and then, yeah, this has a bunch of random holes in it. So I'll figure out some way to zhuzh it up. Maybe I'll modge podge it um, and put something cool on it. We'll see. Having a little taco salad for dinner. I've got a um, little bit of leftover beef as well, which I didn't put the taco seasoning on, so I might do something different with that tomorrow. We'll see. And my poor jalapeno, I guess I let it sit a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turning color on me.